In another screencast, the idea of reverse osmosis is described and some of the equations are presented. And here, just want to discuss how that driving force or permeation changes because of a couple factors. One, concentration polarization, and two, because of the fact that we're permeating the solvent through the membrane and therefore changing the feed concentration of solvent. So the idea of concentration polarization, just to review, is that we have, in this case we'll use water as the solvent, we have water plus a solute, typically a salt, on one side of a membrane, water on the other side of the membrane, and the idea is we're feeding water plus a solute, the membrane is permeable almost exclusively to water, and so we end up with high purity water on the right side of the membrane. To do this, we have high pressure. So we have to have high pressure on the left side to overcome the osmotic pressure. And then the driving force is the pressure difference. So this is E1 minus P2 minus the osmotic pressure. And it's related to as this is the thickness, a thicker membrane. We have a lower flux, and this is the property of the membrane, the permeability. What we want to look at is what can affect this equation and the flux we get through a membrane. And so one of the effects is concentration polarization. So the membrane on the feed side, because we're preferentially permeating water through the membrane, Water is permeating in this direction. The solute concentration, the salt concentration, is going to start to build up on the feed side because the salt now has to diffuse back to the left because of the concentration gradient of the salt in order to equilibrate. And we're going to have a higher concentration of the solute right at the membrane surface because we're preferentially permeating the water through the membrane. So this is referred to as concentration polarization, this effect right here, which means we've decreased the water concentration, we've increased the salt concentration. A higher salt concentration means that we have a larger osmotic pressure. The osmotic pressure increases the salt concentration, increases which means then, if we look at our equation, if we increase the osmotic pressure in this equation, then we've decreased the driving force. And so concentration polarization decreases the driving force during reverse osmosis, as well as other membrane processes. Which means if we were to calculate the flux, we're not going to get the value from this equation if we use as our osmotic pressure what corresponds to out here. Instead, now it corresponds to what's right at this surface. The second effect that we should be aware of is if we look at permeation where we're feeding water plus a solute to the inside of a reverse osmosis membrane tube, and we have mostly water on the permeate side, so the retentate has a higher concentration of the solute. As we move from left to right through the membrane, and we preferentially permeate water, that means we have a higher solute concentration further down the tube. Again, a higher solute concentration, this is now in the bulk of the solution, higher solute concentration means a higher osmotic pressure, Again, less driving force. And so the flux of water through the membrane is going to be higher here than it is here because we have a higher concentration of water on the feed side here than we do here. So both of these things now will decrease the amount of water we obtain for a given feed pressure reverse osmosis. We also have the possibility, if this were a long 
membrane tube or small diameter that could be a pressure drop. And then the pressure here at the exit, the pressure here, is going to be lower than the pressure here. This also will decrease the driving force for reverse osmosis.